Occasionally, cosmic events of monumental scale occur billions of kilometers away from Earth, reverberating throughout the universe. And now, a similar event is looming, sparking astonishment even among scientists. A red giant star situated at the outer reaches of our galaxy is transmitting ominous signals across the cosmos. Captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have uncovered deeply unsettling revelations about this colossal celestial body. As distinguished astrophysicist Brian Cox issues a grave warning, a pressing question arises. Are we teetering on the brink of witnessing a cataclysmic supernova explosion that could permanently alter the familiar night sky? Before delving into further details, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Now, the burning question lingers. Will this explosion impact Earth, and will it be visible from our planet? Stay tuned as we explore the answers to these compelling questions in this video. In the vast expanse of the universe, where the drama of stellar birth, life, and death unfolds in mesmerizing splendor, one particular star has recently commanded the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public. This star, known as Betelgeuse, stands out prominently as a red supergiant in the constellation Orion, boasting immense size and age. While its striking reddish hue and fluctuating brightness have long fascinated observers, recent events have further piqued curiosity about this celestial behemoth. As we delve into the essence of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the brink of a potentially monumental event in the star's life cycle. But what do these shifts in Betelgeuse's behavior signify? Could we be witnessing the beginning of an extraordinary cosmic spectacle of unimaginable magnitude? Betelgeuse, boasting a size approximately 764 times greater than our sun, stands as a colossal giant among stars. Its sheer magnitude stretches the limits of human imagination. Picture a star so immense that if it were to take the sun's place, its surface would extend beyond Mars' orbit, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars within its stellar grasp. This extraordinary size not only highlights Betelgeuse's physical enormity, but also signifies its place in the stellar life cycle as a red supergiant. Betelgeuse is in the twilight phase of its existence, marked by expansion and cooling after a lifetime of fusing hydrogen into helium at its core. Questions arise about Betelgeuse's age. Despite being relatively young in human terms, estimated at around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years old, it stands as ancient within the context of stellar lifespans. Its current state as a red supergiant represents the culmination of millions of years of stellar evolution, characterized by profound transformations from a hot blue star to the majestic red giant we observe today. The journey of stars like Betelgeuse unfolds as a tale of constant change, fueled by the unyielding forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. One notable feature of Betelgeuse's current phase is its striking reddish hue. This crimson color arises from its comparatively cooler surface temperature, a contrast to stars like our sun. While our sun blazes at around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is cooler, clocking in at about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light with wavelengths painted in shades of red. However, this hue isn't merely an aesthetic trait. It offers insights into the star's physical state and the ongoing processes within its expansive gaseous realm. Adding to the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse is its intriguing color history. Ancient writings from Roman and Chinese sources suggest that some 2,000 years ago, Betelgeuse appeared yellow. It wasn't until the 9th century that Arabic scholars described it as red. This historical shift in color isn't just a footnote in astronomical records. It serves as a clue to the star's evolutionary journey. The fluctuating brightness of Betelgeuse adds another layer of fascination. It behaves as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its luminosity goes through periodic fluctuations. This dance of brightness has captivated astronomers and skywatchers for ages. Typically, Betelgeuse follows a 400-day cycle, alongside a longer 5E cycle documented as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and possibly even earlier in Aboriginal oral traditions. Yet, what truly sets Betelgeuse apart is not just its varying brightness but its irregularity. Unlike many stars that adhere to predictable patterns, Betelgeuse occasionally veers off course from its expected dimming and brightening rhythm, 
this irregularity hints at complex and less understood processes unfolding within its massive structure. Recent groundbreaking discoveries captivated astronomers and skywatchers worldwide when Betelgeuse experienced an unexpected and dramatic transformation, now famously dubbed the Great Dimming. It all began in late 2019 when Betelgeuse, the red supergiant shining brightly in the night sky and a well-known part of the Orion constellation, started to undergo a mysterious dimming. The dimming was so striking that it lost luminosity at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, hitting its lowest brightness by February 2020. Betelgeuse, typically visible to the naked eye even amidst light pollution, significantly faded, a change even amateur observers couldn't miss. However, there's a significant challenge in monitoring the activities of Betelgeuse, the time paradox. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we're not witnessing its current state but rather its past, owing to the time it takes for light to reach us. Betelgeuse, situated roughly 725 light years away, means the light we see today departed from the star nearly seven centuries ago. This time delay complicates efforts to anticipate and track sudden changes in a star's behavior since we're essentially observing events that occurred in the distant past. The dimming of Betelgeuse serves as a stark reminder of the inherent complexities in real-time astronomical observations and the constraints of our understanding when grappling with the immense scales of the cosmos and the time paradox they entail. The captivating saga of Betelgeuse's cosmic performance was meticulously tracked by Andrea Dupree, the associate director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian. Alongside her team, employing the Hubble Space Telescope, they embarked on a three-year investigation to monitor fluctuations in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. These observations provided an unparalleled understanding of how a variable star like Betelgeuse operates, with its regular expansions and contractions leading to fluctuations in brightness. The remarkable sensitivity of Hubble to ultraviolet light enabled the researchers to delve into the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, which were partially heated by the star's turbulent convection cells. Additionally, a detailed analysis of the Hubble spectra, obtained at various intervals throughout 2019 and 2020, facilitated the measurement of material movement within Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. Specifically, the analysis focused on the magnesium two lines within the spectra which offer insights into the atmospheric conditions of the star. These observations unveiled material traveling at speeds of approximately 200,000 miles per hour from Betelgeuse's surface to its outer atmosphere. This heated and dense substance eventually expanded millions of miles away from Betelgeuse, serving as the precursor to the dust cloud responsible for the star's dimming. Dupree and her team estimated that during the three-month outburst, Roughly twice the usual amount of material from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was shed. This substantial loss of mass holds significance, particularly considering that like all stars, Betelgeuse continuously sheds mass, albeit at a rate much higher than that of our sun. The magnitude of this mass ejection and the resulting dimming prompted discussions among astronomers regarding whether this occurrence might foreshadow a supernova explosion. The proximity of Betelgeuse, positioned approximately 725 light-years away from Earth, adds to the fascination. If such an explosion were to happen, it would be visible from Earth, presenting a rare opportunity to closely observe a supernova. However, the question persists. What implications does this dimming event hold for Betelgeuse's future? Does it signal an imminent supernova? Or is it merely a distinctive chapter in the star's extensive and intricate journey? Various theories were proposed to shed light on this phenomenon. This sudden shift prompted several prevailing theories. One proposed a phase in the supernova explosion process gaining momentum due to the widespread belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the culmination of its life cycle. Another widely accepted theory implicated dust, potentially originating from the star itself, obscuring our view of Betelgeuse. A third explanation scrutinized alterations in the star's photosphere its visible surface layer, which might impact its apparent brightness. Comprehensive analysis employing diverse observational techniques contributed to unraveling this enigma. Spectroscopic examinations indicated a decline in Betelgeuse's effective temperature, hinting at the possibility of a substantial dark spot on the star's surface. This hypothesis found support in observations revealing a temperature drop of at least 170 Kelvin during the dimming period underscoring significant surface changes. 
Ultimately, the key to comprehending this peculiar phenomenon stemmed from humanity's watchful eye in space, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's meticulous observations unveiled that Betelgeuse's dimming likely resulted from a substantial expulsion of heated material into space. This material coalesced to form a dust cloud obscuring a segment of the star's surface and diminishing the amount of light reaching us from Betelgeuse. The genesis of the dust cloud was attributed to superheated plasma, which erupted from a sizable convection cell on the star's surface and traversed through its scorching atmosphere to the cooler outer layers. Upon cooling, this plasma gave rise to dust particles, culminating in a cloud that obstructed light from approximately a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic observations, initiated in January 2019, played a pivotal role in reconstructing the timeline leading up to Betelgeuse's dimming. These observations detected indications of dense heated material traversing through the star's atmosphere in the months leading up to the dimming event. By December 2019, various ground-based telescopes also noted the star's diminishing brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. Initially, this material appeared brighter than the star's usual luminosity, eventually culminating in the formation of a dark cloud as it dispersed outward and cooled. The proposition was that this outward flow of material and the subsequent dark cloud were responsible for the sudden dimming of the star. The magnitude of this ejection is truly staggering, thrusting Betelgeuse into the astronomical spotlight. The star expelled an estimated 400 billion times the mass typically released in a standard coronal mass ejection. This expelled material, believed to outweigh our moon several times over, marked a significant event not only for Betelgeuse but also for advancing our understanding of stellar mechanics. But what are the implications of such a massive ejection of material for Betelgeuse and the broader theories of supernovae? The ramifications run deep. Conventional wisdom suggests that red supergiants like Betelgeuse steadily shed mass before reaching the explosive culmination of their existence. However, the magnitude of this ejection challenges this notion, hinting at a potentially more tumultuous and unpredictable final phase for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be preparing for its grand finale, a supernova explosion, within the coming millennia? Recent research speculates on the timing of such an event proposing that it might occur sooner than previously anticipated, perhaps in just a few decades. Additionally, the concept of the bow shock adds another crucial layer to the Betelgeuse conundrum. As this immense star races through space at about 67,000 miles per hour relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it generates a bow shock akin to the wake formed by a moving ship's bow. This phenomenon arises from the star's outer layers interacting with interstellar gases and dust offering a spectacular demonstration of the star's dynamic behavior and its engagement with the cosmic milieu. But what about Betelgeuse's recent behavior? Its surface cooling and decreased density observed in the aftermath of the ejection event leave the star in an unsettled state even years later. Hydrodynamic simulations suggest a link between the star's convective actions, the mass ejection, and subsequent shifts in pulsation modes. This ongoing instability prompts inquiries into the internal mechanisms propelling these alterations and their potential outcomes in the future. Additionally, the observed mass loss rate of Betelgeuse exceeds that of many other stars, indicating a complex interplay of internal forces. However, with the constant energy dissipation through shock heat and mass ejection, the driven pulsation which partly contributes to this mass loss is regulated. Such observations underscore the dynamic and somewhat unpredictable nature of Betelgeuse's life cycle, prompting astronomers to reassess their models of stellar evolution. Nevertheless, one might ponder, is Betelgeuse teetering on the brink of a supernova explosion amid all these dramatic changes? This question weighs heavily in the astronomical community. While the timing of such an event remains uncertain, the recent unprecedented mass ejection has unmistakably shifted the discourse suggesting a more imminent finale than previously envisioned. Theories now grapple with the ramifications of such substantial material loss and its implications for the star's stability and future. Yet, as the astronomical community focuses its attention on Betelgeuse, another cosmic event emerges, captivating our interest and providing a striking point of comparison. The supernova SN 2023 ISF. This inspiring event unfolded in the galaxy M101 affectionately dubbed the Pinwheel Galaxy. Located just 21 million light-years away, 
Unveiled in May 2023, SN 2023 ISF stands apart from ordinary supernovae. It represents the closest observation of such an event in recent memory, affording a remarkable glimpse into the dramatic conclusion of a star's life. The revelation of SN 2023 ISF marked a significant milestone in astronomical discovery. Kichi Yoki, a celebrated amateur astronomer renowned for his knack for spotting supernovae, first detected the swiftly brightening spot on the outskirts of M11 using a modest 0.35M telescope. With his announcement, the astronomical community swiftly mobilized, redirecting telescopes worldwide from terrestrial observatories to the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope to witness the unfolding spectacle of this eminent supernova. The ensuing competition to track SN 2023 ISF's light curve yielded crucial insights into the explosion's dynamics and the celestial environment enveloping the doomed star. Furthermore, as astronomers continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, Betelgeuse's saga, and the spectacle of SN 2023 ISF serve as poignant reminders of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. These cosmic events not only captivate our imagination but also deepen our understanding of stellar evolution, supernovae, and the intricate interplay of forces that shape the cosmos. Moreover, they underscore the importance of continuous observation and exploration, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring awe and wonder in the face of the vastness and complexity of the universe. As we peer into the depths of space, each discovery offers new insights and raises intriguing questions, fueling the relentless pursuit of knowledge and exploration. In this endless quest to understand the cosmos, every observation, every discovery, and every cosmic event brings us closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe and our place within it. And as we gaze up at the night sky, we are reminded of the profound beauty and mystery that surrounds us inviting us to contemplate our place in the grand tapestry of the cosmos.